All right. Thank you so much, Scott. More than half of U.S. states allow for the use of medical marijuana. Now, players in one of America's most favorite sports are involved in the fight. Pot is on the National Football League's banned substances list. But more and more players are calling for the league to reconsider its stance. Joining us to discuss the issue this morning, former Eagles player Todd Harriman and the founder and board president of Doctors for Cannabis Regulation, Dr. David Nathan. Thank you both for joining us this Thanks morning. Thanks for having us on. So, Todd, let's talk from a football perspective. Um, okay. You have some pain. You get injured. They'll hand out right. uh, some pretty powerful painkillers. Correct. You think that kind of does more damage than maybe what you're saying medical marijuana can do? Well, what I'm looking at is uh, over overall in the nation, we're having a huge crisis with opioids right now. Mm -hmm. And the numbers are that one out of seven players in the NFL leaves the game with some sort of opiate addiction or problem, wow. misuse. Um, so what I'm saying is that there's 22 out of 32 NFL, uh, 22 out of 32 NFL teams are in a state where they offer medical marijuana as an alternative medicine. And what I'm saying is, why wouldn't those 22 teams at least look into offering it to diverge from handing out opiates? Dr. Nathan, your perspective from a medical standpoint. From a medical standpoint, I, th I think writ large, this prohibition on cannabis has been a mistake since the beginning. It was never based on science, and uh, its enforcement has always been racially biased. And when you bring it down to the level of the NFL, it's actually the same thing. It's interesting that of, at some point mid-season, 19 players that were uh, uh, suspended for drug violations, 18 of those were African American. And I'm not saying that there's inherent racial bias or, or intentional racial bias, but it certainly works out that way. And uh, even if you think that there's no good medical application for cannabis, it still should not be against the law and it should not be against the rules for the NFL. It really should be treated like alcohol. Some would say that it's too early to say there's not enough research that proves exactly what the benefits of it mm -hmm. is. And so we should step out of that for now and just wait and find out. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that the biggest thing for that is you have to listen to um, the players. They're the actual ones going through it with their bodies and stuff. Me personally, I used cannabis as very recreational uh, to start through college and through my early days in the NFL. Not until it was taken away from me by failing a test and getting put through the drug program for the NFL did I realize that, wow, I've, my pain's really catching up to me. Like I wasn't, I didn't know I was using it as pain management, but I was. And now that I wasn't able to use it, it was taken from me. My body started to deteriorate and I noticed it. So then what did I do? I went into the trainers to get what I could and it turned out to be opiates. And then I just noticed how hypocritical that seemed that they're trying to help me from my problem with uh, marijuana, something that nobody's ever died from, and give me opiates, which is one of the major problems in our country right now. Is it that easy to go into a training room in the NFL and just get them like that without a prescription? Um, well, there, if you have pain or issues or whatever, they'll be able to get you a prescription. For gotcha. It. Now, the and NFL... It's not that the doctors are doing anything wrong they're mm -hmm. just doing what they're allowed to do at sure. this point you know sure the nfl is uh they released a statement in regards to this it says right now it's not something that we're actively considering our doctors are always evaluating that if they see they can improve our policies or what we can do better to protect our players or help our players we'll look at it do you think that's fair the thing to keep in mind is that the NFL's doctors are beholden, beholden to the NFL and the Harvard Medical School recently came out with a report about athletes and pain control and they said a couple of interesting things. One of them is that the doctors should not be beholden to the NFL in making clinical decisions. And the other one, which is really remarkable, is saying that, uh, that the player's health should not be used as a negotiating point in the collective bargaining agreement why would we put that into the rules? That's actually what the NFL is saying, is that, look, the CBA says this, and until our doctors tell us to change it, and the doctors who are beholden to us and listening to what we have to say, then we're not going to change anything. And the doctors are not inclined to go against the NFL. We've spoken with them privately, and this is what some of them are telling us. So you both think the player should have a bigger voice? Obviously, the, 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 I mean, the doctors need to weigh in, and, but if you look at the evidence, if you look at the hundreds of su studies done to show that the benefits of uh, cannabis for pain are, are quite clear and that the safety profile is a lot better, you don't, you, of course, listen to the athletes because they know their bodies, but also listen to the science and okay. listen to what the evidence tells us. Todd, it took a lot of guts to put your name to this, right? To me, it just seems like a common sense thing. 
and with the rising crisis with opiates and how many people a year are dying from opiate overdoses and stuff, I just, I think it's important. And for the NFL, the owners are always have our best interest in mind. And, you know, with that being such a problem right now, they need to look to alternative routes to uh, help players manage their pain. And there's also properties that they need to do research on because uh, cannabis has some neuroprotective properties to it that, um, you know, with all the scare, with concussions and everything with the NFL, I think they should at least research it and find out exactly what that all entails. All right. While you're here, we yeah. got to ask you about football. Right, it's Sunday, go. right? <laughs> My Atlanta Falcons and Matty Ice, of course, right. has a connection to the area. Playing Aaron Rodgers and the Packers today. What do you think? I mean, I would love to pick Atlanta, but yes. I'm going to go ahead and pick Green Bay since. Nah. But listen, since <laughs> Tell last me why. week. Yeah. Last week. All of my picks lost. <laughs> there you go. Got you got to feel good now. Okay. So I'm going to pick Green Bay. So don't ask him. Let's ask Dr. Nathan. <laughs> Who do you like today? I like whoever he's <laughs> Whoever sounds like. All right. Well, I'm going to go with the Falcons, as yeah, you guys know, I right? Bet, yes. All right. Thank you both for stopping by. Thanks we for having us.